Hello guys and gals. Today we're going to start our group work. So remember our second section of unit one moves from um, teacher-led instruction to our small group learning. So now I am going to do very little facilitation and you are going to do a lot of learning with your group. I'm going to walk around, I'm going to help, but for the most part, you guys are discussing and coming up with your own ideas. So the first thing you're going to do is your vocabulary for tutors teach. And it says your words are struggling, impairments, and frustrated. You're going to make sure you define these words in the margin of your book. And you also write them on your vocabulary chart. So remember, you're going to create your own definition. You're going to create a sentence using each word. And you're going to fill them in in your chart. Then you're going to read and annotate the story. So you have the story listed for you in Google Classroom. You can choose to listen to the story first if you want. It's on pages 62 through 65. If you want to read the story independently, that is okay as well. As you read, you're going to annotate. It says after reading, you need to make annotations. Remember the annotations are going to help you understand and you are able to use them on your test. Remember when annotating, you need to make notes of figurative language. That's like simile, metaphor, personification, a hyperbole, words you are not familiar with. Remember any word that's unfamiliar, you circle and you define out to the side. Descriptions of characters, Key ideas and details. This is going to be my, maybe a moral or a lesson in a story. Maybe you figure out that in one paragraph, the main idea of that entire paragraph is how the senior citizens are going to be helping the younger, uh, the younger generation or vice versa. So maybe you make sure you put what the main idea of that paragraph is. And then anything else you think is important. Remember, it's also a good idea to put any questions that you have as you're reading out to the side so that that way you can ask those questions and get them answered as well. Then once you're done reading and annotating, you're sharing your annotations with your group. You're going to make sure that you guys have similar annotations. And if somebody has something that you think is imperative or important, you're going to go ahead and make sure that you add that to your page. Our third thing is our comprehension check questions. And this is gonna be questions one through three on page 65. So on page 65, you're gonna make sure that you have all of those annotations listed. I mean, all those comprehension que questions answered. So that's the third thing that you're gonna do. Um, then, we're gonna do your analyze, craft, and structure worksheet. Your entire worksheet should be completed and you're going to work on your evidence log. Now, I am going to go ahead and say after your comprehension que uh, check questions, I'm adding this to this, you are going to complete, so not necessarily all of it, you're going to complete your um, conventions page, which is going to be page 68, and then you're also going to complete your um, speaking and listening page, Oh, no, I'm not going to do that one. Just complete your conventions, page 68. So your close read of the text and your analyze craft and structure page are already on your analyze craft and structure sheet. That's why you don't have to do 66 and 67. But your conventions page, you do need to review. All right, so analyze craft and structure. Then you have your evidence log. So your evidence log, you're going to be doing with your group. It says you should have com two completed pieces of evidence and two explanations. And there it says, remember, this is going to help you on your narrative writing next week. And um, this will actually be in two weeks. We're pushing it back a little bit. So you will have this. Then you're going to do your writing a summary. So you're going to write a five to seven sentence summary of the story. And you can do this on loose leaf, you can type it in a Google Doc, but just make sure that whatever you do, you label it with your first initial, last name, summary, and the title of the story. And then your says small group questions on the reverse side. So here are your questions. Your first question is going to be, how can you relate this to your own life? Then, who is someone from a different generation that comes to mind after reading this text and why? Question three. What is the author's purpose for writing this selection and why? And so that means like, are they informing you of something? Are they teaching you a lesson? Are they explaining something? Are they trying to entertain you with a short story or work of fiction? So what do you think the author's purpose is? So it's going to be persuade you to think like them, entertain you like with a short story, 
or inform you of something? And then did you have trouble understanding the text? Why or why not? So was that maybe the vocabulary was hard? Maybe it's because it's a nonfiction story. What did you like or dislike about this? Why did you have trouble? If you did not have trouble, what made it easy for you to read or understand? All right. Then you have to come up with five additional questions after reading. So this is how to think. So it says additional questions you had after reading the text. How, think about how, when, where, why, and what. It says you can have two recall questions straight from the text and three that require your peers to think. So you're going to ask these questions of your peers. So recall is an example, like what color was the main character's shirt? That's something that they can find very easily word for word in the story you don't have to think about. Higher order is going to be something that requires them to think or reread a paragraph. Like, why do you think the author lists the similarities and differences between the characters? So why would that be an important thing to do? So remember, you have two recall and three higher order. And so you have places to write your questions here. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, please.